Hello, uh, my name is Joe Sullivan, and today we're going to work on a CCNA voice exercise. Uh, this is uh, utilizing a transport mechanism. Uh, we are working on exercise 10, and we're going to be using a T1 interface to uh, communicate between devices. Uh, this is basically just a call routing device. And uh, we're going to start with 2-2. Uh, we have actually a, a T1 a WIC 2T card on the router itself. And we're going to go ahead and configure that device. So, 2 2 is going to the router and actually configuring that device uh, to set up your T1. And I'm going to go ahead and configure my router and uh, do show inventory. Uh, I'm running a WIC 2T1 MFT T1 E1. Okay. So basically, we're going to do a card type T1 slot 02 and ISDN switch type primary NI. Network clock participate with two. All right. Troller T one zero two zero. All right, so I'm configuring that device. Okay, so uh, all you do is, uh, for me, I plugged in mine into an Antran. You can do another router. Um, I have a quad B BR1, and you see the controller line went to up. Show IP. And a T1 interface uh, has been provisioned. Um, Okay, so I'm actually going to an Antran with this T1 interface there. Okay. And let's go to the CUCM administration page. And I logged in. And we're going to go to device uh, gateway. And we're going to add new. Gateway type. Um... 2011 router twenty eleven good next protocol I want the gateway protocol for port based Okay.
connect through the fully qualified domain name of the router. Okay. Make sure I don't have a domain. Make HQMG CP gateway. Make a single server. Oh boy, module in slot zero, huh? don't have either of these. So we're going to see if this works. And um HD2 port 1. Uh we're going to go with this. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to work cuz it's on my card that matches. Uh this is the ISDN switch type. Save. Look at that subunit. There we go. That looks good. And what is my card actually? Um, uh, VWIC 1MFT T1E1. There we go. The gateway configuration saves if you are using a VWIC card like we are. The subunits under the module in slot 0 are present. 
from the correct subunit where the VWIC was installed, drop down, select your VWIC type, if necessary the mode, and it shows in slot 2. I think I'm going to do this here. Zero to zero, good. After it's saved, an icon with the yellow telephone jack with the yellow question mark will show next to it. Um, how do I know it's on zero? On slot zero. It says a zero, slub slot two. So show inventory gives me my location of that uh, T1. That's how I got it from there. Slot 0, sub slot 2, zero, two zero. Uh Do show IP interface brief. I don't see it here yet. Gotta be running the IVS services too on the router. Okay, oh, let's go here. I'm running MGCP. I think I need to be running IVS services. We'll see. We will see. Find gateways. Let's open. Um, where's my pop up? Let's see if uh, this tool blocks pop-ups. Apply configuration. There's a pop up. Click the yellow icon and uh, find a list gate page uh, will open from the device protocol drop down list. Choose digital access PRI. And then click the next button.
endpoint username. Okay. Madison device pool. Change the see how many channels you're using your PRI due to your limited DSP resources. I only have one DSP card. So change the channel selection order drop down list to top down. Channel selection. It's a lot of stuff here, huh? I don't know how many. I think we're using maximum eight. By changing it to top down, the PRI will start the lowest channel number. Select enable status pull checkbox. Under the call routing information, bound call section from the significant digits drop down list, select four. In the call routing information again, outbound call selection from the call party calling party presentation, select allow. To allow caller ID information. In the PRA protocol specific, Information section, select the display, i.e. delivery. It's a lot of ISDN PRI caller ID info. Select redirecting number uh, information delivery outbound checkbox. Click the save and the commit changes. Excellent. Back to MGC configuration. I'm going to click go. Good. We remove that yellow question mark next to the tier one port. There should be a T1 PRI jack under the tiny icon in red letters. And I confirm it is right there. So I'm going to activate the MGCP gateway on the router. This is where I have to hope that I have the right iOS installed. Otherwise, I just have to reload it. Config server is a CUCM IP address, which is 
So we're going to take a look at uh, CCM Manager and uh, look at the configuration of that. Uh, manager and uh, what I noticed is that the couple things have to be in place uh, for this to work. Device gateway. Okay. So, in my configuration, uh, I have a slot 0, nm 4 v WIC, uh, HBRD, and what I'm going to take a look at, oops, show inventory, I have a VWIC 2 1MFT T1 E1 1 port RJ48 multiflex trunk E1 in subslot 2 so that's reflective of this sub subunit 2 if I go to T1 PRA I see the CCMP voice uh, local uh, and I'm going to go back to this uh, one thing here if I look at my router name it's just do show run my router name is router pod 1 Make sure that gets put in front of your CCMP voice local. Um, that's the domain, uh, MGCP gateway. So if I do show run, section MGCP. Um, There it is. Um, CCMP voice that local. See how I labeled the domain name. I added router pod one to that, and that's what you have to do to fix any connection issues. Um, it doesn't state that in the book, but I was able to figure that out. Um, show CCM uh, config downloaded, and you'll see that I have three. Downloaded attempted and three downloaded successful. That was before I got started. I had 13 failures. Okay. And I'm also going to do a uh, show CCM manager. Oh. And I have it gateway is registered and that's the host so you can see that indeed uh, that the CCM is registered with the controller and configuration attempted one I think we're good with that all right real good so Here's I lost uh, connectivity with my setup. I'm doing this telenetting from the Windows PC. Uh, I'm going to go to task 3, create route group in CUCM. Uh, we're going to go to Unified CM Administration, navigate to call routing, and route hunt group, and route group. All right, we're going to click on Add New. And we're going to Madison Route Group. I'm going to save my available devices.
the interface gateway device should now be listed in the current route group member selection and the selected devices. Order by priority. There it is. And I got T1 MGCP. Now, next task is we're going to create route list in CUCM. Call routing, route hunt. Call routing, route hunt. And go to route list. Add new name Madison route list. Single server. We're going to save that. And route group. And we're going to add the Madison route group. There are various options to transform the college parties and college parties numbering plan. These options could be used when four digit calls to extensions over the WAN need to be redirected to the PSTN because of a WAN failure. Four digit numbers will not work to the PSTN so they need to expand to local and long distance uh, formats. I'm going to click the save. Ooh, look at that, two checkerboards under Madison Route Group. Which is my Madison Selected Groups and Madison Route Group. Save and reset. Registered with the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. IP address, devices trusted. Okay, real good. And this seems to go on a little bit long. I'm going to pause the video here and we're going to save it and I'll pick it up with uh, phase two of task five. We're going to create route patterns and CUCM to build a dial plan to match the North American numbering plan.